After numerous inspections, the NRC determined the Davis Bessie nuclear power plant is safe for operation. I'm Prima Chanderthal, a public affairs officer here at the NRC, and I invite you to join me as I speak to the inspectors who looked at the 2011 installation of the new reactor head and who also participated in the safety review of the cracks found in one of the buildings. Construction crews began work to replace the Davis Bessie nuclear plant reactor head in October 2011. The process involved cutting a hole in the side of these separate buildings, replacing the head, and checking to make sure the work was done safely and complied with NRC regulations. Well, our ultimate responsibility is ensuring that the, reactor, the new reactor vessel head is safe to put into service uh, from the existing plant. Uh, we've done that through a number of steps, beginning with the very, at the very beginning with the manufacture of the new head in France, uh, the transport uh, to the United States. NRC inspectors have unfettered access in the plant and dressed in yellow anti-contamination suits for safety and protection, they climb up close to inspect different areas of the new 180-ton reactor head. This job is very um, intrusive and if we find the licensee has not met the requirements, we'll immediately let the licensee know that those that they're in non-conformance with NRC regulations or requirements. Now a few days after the head replacement work began, cracks were identified in this outermost structure called the shield building. It surrounds this red building called containment and inside of that is where the reactor sits. It was unexpected and uh, the licensee did discover it during a process called hydro demolition when they were taking the shield building apart to make the opening. Uh, so they could move the old head out and the new head in. And uh, once those were identified, we were notified immediately. The two buildings are totally separate structures. This is the containment vessel, and it's a freestanding steel cylinder. And it's different from the shield building. This is a concrete structure, but it's just to shield this building, the steel building, from being hit by an object. Before being put back into service, NRC inspectors had to review the cracking to ensure the concrete shield building could continue to protect the steel containment and thus the reactor from flying objects. And it's uh, very intense. It's a rigorous inspection that is uh, conducted, you know, for this activity so that when we get done, we know that the licensee has constructed and restored this shield building and containment vessel. We want to be able to know firsthand that we've observed what they did, we've observed the cracking, we've observed their analysis and that we can provide an independent assessment on whether or not we believe that the, uh, the cracks would affect the integrity of the shield building. Once the large bolts are back on and tightened up, the new reactor head also gets put through rigorous testing. The NRC will be present in all of the inspections making sure that the licensee is, is uh, following procedures and doing things in accordance with the rules every step of the way. If we find a problem, we're going to bring it to their attention. All before startup, before the reactor ever is taken critical again, and uh, there is any chance of, a, of an accident occurring that could affect the public. And after NRC inspectors are satisfied that the reactor can be operated safely, the NRC continues to conduct inspections to ensure this plant or any other operates safely. We have at least two inspectors on site at every nuclear power plant, power plant in the country. Uh, to monitor day-to-day -day activities. It doesn't matter whether those activities occur at 3 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, on Christmas, on Thanksgiving, on New Year's Day. We're here whenever there's an issue that we need to address. On December 2nd, 2011, the NRC determined the operators of the davis Bessie nuclear power plant provided reasonable assurance that the shield building could perform its safety function. However, the NRC required the plant to take additional actions to continue to monitor and ensure the cracks would continue to not impact safety. The bottom line is that the NRC's role and mission is to ensure the plant operates safely in order to protect the public, workers, and the environment.